Giving the fig tree a haircut, Mom? Yes, I am. He's reaching out to grab us as we try to walk by. It's huge. And healthy. Yes, and does give a lot of fruit. We just never get to eat any of it because the possums and the birds claim it before we can get to it. We could put netting. On this size tree? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Well, maybe. Uh-huh. I don't know. I've never done that before. I don't plan on doing that. All right. Haircut for fig tree it is. You sure that's the proper technique? I have no idea. Again, since <laughs> since we can't eat any of the fruit, it doesn't really matter. Although it is providing nice shade for these flowering weeds that the bumblebees like. Yes, that's a good thing. That have sprouted up all around the base here. Mm-hmm. Okay. In fact, there's one right now. We are trying to encourage the bees any way possible. Go do your thing, little guy. Or wait, is this a little guy or a little girl? What, the bee? Yeah, is it, is it the female that goes out and gets pollen, or is it the male I don't drones? know. Honestly, don't know. Come on, Mom, you're supposed to be, uh... Certified something. Yes, years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and what was it? Master Gardener. Master Gardener of the state of North Carolina. Right. And they didn't cover B sexes. No, no, I don't. I don't believe so. If they did, I've forgotten it. <laughs> okay. So. This is doing well. Yes. What is it again? Dill. Now that you moved it into the sun. Yes, yes. It was crying for help. <laughs> well, it was four feet over here. Right. But in the shade of the fig tree. Mm-hmm. So, now that it's over there. And the there, shade of the, of the deck as well. For afternoon sun, yeah. Yeah. That's better. That's better. At least I don't feel like spirits are reaching out to grab me as, <laughs> I, as, as I walk on the path around my dahlias. The pathway was getting a little crowded. 